YouTube, what's going on today, guys? I just wanted to come out and talk to you guys a little bit about the future of this YouTube channel. Obviously, this is a Call of Duty Warzone slash Call of Duty channel. I've never really posted anything else unless you go back like probably a year and a half now, maybe even two years now where I posted a few Fortnite things like four years ago. I posted a few World of Warcraft things like two, three years ago now. And there's a lot of stuff going on going forward for me. Obviously, if you guys have been around the channel, I have my first baby coming here in January, having a little girl. So we have a lot of things planned and that's why I haven't been streaming as much. And if you've been around the streams, you guys are all involved and know this kind of stuff. And I've kind of talked to you guys about it, but I know a lot of people can't make it to the streams because I do stream a little bit late at night. So I did want to just come and talk to you guys a little bit today about the future of this channel. Obviously, right now, Warzone and Call of Duty is in a pretty bad spot, and I don't think there's a lot of excitement behind Vanguard. I think some people are excited, but me personally, it just looks like Modern Warfare, like 2019, but in World War II version. So I'm not super excited. I'm sure it'll be really fun for a couple weeks, but I don't know how much multiplayer content is going to be there, which I love multiplayer content. If you guys haven't, like, talk to me or anything, I'm super competitive gamer. So if they have some kind of a ranked mode that's really good in that, I could be completely wrong and I could just be addicted to grinding that, which I would love to do, by the way. But we'll have the Warzone integration in about December ish, which I'm hoping is going to be amazing. They're going to have to do a few things to really keep me just like straight Call of Duty. But if they do a couple things like add a bigger skill gap, like give us like a, a, a grappling hook, give us a grappling hook to like let us make plays that we weren't able to make before, hit cool snipes, like just like cooler things that you can do with a grappling hook. People can't camp on top of buildings if you have a grappling hook, all kinds of stuff. If they add something like that, it completely changes the game. But if they keep the same basic game and just like change the map, it'll be cool for a little while. Obviously, the anti cheat's a ginormous step forward as well. So that's why I'm hoping the competitive will get put into Call of Duty, like multiplayer. That'd be amazing. And then hopefully some kind of competitive slash tournaments that people could enter like me who, yes, I have a decent sized YouTube channel here with 11,000 amazing subscribers closing in on 12,000. And, but I'm not big enough to like get into any of these tournaments. That's the same people, every single tournament. So for me personally, I don't know if you guys are watching them anymore, but I find it extremely boring watching the same people playing the same tournaments every single week and seeing the same top three, four, five teams at the top every single week. I get it they're really freaking good but to me it's just kind of gotten boring to watch over the time so competitive is just eh. they've also kind of ruined like competitive call of duty in general with the cdl which i think a lot of people feel that way because call of duty was the one game that you could just like show up to a tournament if your team played like crazy you would literally get to play against optics so if you guys don't know anything about that completely ignore that but going forward with this channel I'm probably going to be uploading a few different games from time to time. I just want to throw this out there because if you guys don't know, Fortnite is a game that is still thriving, by the way. It's still getting about 500% more views than Call of Duty Warzone on YouTube, which is unbelievable in my mind because I think Warzone is huge and Fortnite's just on a different level. So I've thought about going back and playing a little bit of that because I do play it on the side a little bit with some friends. I'm nowhere near as good as I once was because I was like a top 250 player in the world, but top 50 250 back then and like the world cup when i was playing is like equivalent to someone that's like an average player these days because the game has just evolved so much obviously i still have the talent and i can still like do pretty good so i would like to try a competitive run at some point but it is kind of hard with my work schedule to like get on for those competitive times and like be on my a game after looking at a screen for eight hours from work so we might just upload some like fun Fortnite stuff eventually if we do switch to that game a little bit here and there because I do play it, but I just don't usually record or stream it at all. So maybe if I do get something fun, I'll start recording on the side and upload something like that. And then other games I've been having a ton of fun with is like New World, which I don't know how I would upload New World because MMOs are really tough to upload. Maybe when I get into like end game content, it can do some like really fun PVP. And like if I find it something really cool that you guys might want to see or I really enjoy, I might just upload it for just for fun because I did. The reason I am bringing this up, I was talking to Cypher PK through his chat on his uh his stream and he was i was like hey dude i got 11,000 subscribers should i like make a second channel for this kind of stuff i don't really have a ton of time because i'm like i work full time and then i do this on the side so like should i be just like uploading to the same channel or make a second channel and he was like dude with 11,000 subscribers just upload and see what works and i'm like okay well we'll we'll try to upload a couple things here and there and see how it goes i know you guys for the most part a lot of people are very very like 
Call of Duty driven. Like Call of Duty is one of those communities that is very like I play Call of Duty and that's it. So I know some of you guys will not be happy when I upload other things, but I hope you guys don't unsubscribe or anything. And I hope you guys are here for like some tips and stuff for me or just because you like me a little bit, maybe something like that. But I do appreciate you guys and I don't expect to make too many changes going forward on the channel right now, but I do want to throw this out here because there is what about two and a half three weeks until the new vanguard drops i won't be here for the vanguard release because i'm going to be on a trip with my wife for a literal release just bad timing but at the end of the day i'm excited to go on that trip and if you've been to the stream we're going to hawaii so it's gonna be awesome and all that good stuff might do a little vlogging of it who knows what's gonna go on with that trip but lots of good stuff going forward with the channel i don't plan to make any big changes but just want to let you know there might be some other uploads at some point if call of duty doesn't figure it out so i appreciate you guys have a wonderful rest of your day and peace out